and may the fourth be with you. But this is not the beer that you are looking for. But it is the beer I am looking for. I've been looking forward to this beer for months. And today finally seems a sort of appropriate day to do it. Yes, yes, we're asking Disco Beer Review with me, Disco, coming at you with another beer video from in front of the cans and bottles here in a bar, while I'm still empirically calling the Disco Arms. It's true, I've been looking for this beer, or rather looking forward to this beer for some time. I bought it at some point last year on a random Trembling Madness order. I'm giving myself props for the film reference. I mean, it's a fairly easy and obvious one. I'm not a massive Star Wars fan, particularly. I've seen some or most of all of the films. It's kind of really more Rasko's kind of thing. I probably should have given him this beer to do, um, but I kind of really wanted to try it, and I've been looking forward to it. Being that it is, today is the 4th of May, or otherwise known as Star Wars Day, May the 4th be with you, one of my favourite puns probably. I know not necessarily a good one, but it's kind of gaining ground and everybody's doing it so I thought I might as well join in. It is a beer from two breweries, a collaboration between one of my favourite breweries, Turning Point, up in Nairsborough in Yorkshire, and also the probably more mysterious, maybe slightly lesser spotted, maybe less ubiquitous, although they have had a bit of a prominence in the last couple of years getting out doing these kind of collabs and they always brew big, big beers. That's Emperor's Brewery. So, uh, I think their logo on the can. And also that's, I guess, the Star Wars reference, Palpatine. And it is a, and I always get this wrong, so I'm going to look at it, a peach, plum and charred nectarine beach smoked Imperial Stout. Obviously Imperial being a Star Wars theme as well. And being a big Imperial Stout, it's a 12 whole percent. So a big beer with some big flavours Without further ado I'm just going to get it straight into a glass And see what we find Because I've been looking forward to this beer uh -huh. right, Going back, here we go Ooh. It's come out very lively uh, I say it has been sitting in the can in the stash Nice and cool for some time And it pours out pretty gloopy engine oil kind of darkness but I say with a good amount of carbonation there's some bubbles there bouncing into the glass got the mad squirrel tech who plus out for this one because it is a big beer and any special I guess so it sounds special to me anyway uh, so I get the special glass out don't break this out very often uh, so yeah 12% uh, so I'm getting a whiff of fruit already I've just only picked it up um, yeah there's definitely some kind of peachiness going on yeah some like peach and nectarine on the nose uh, maybe a touch of plum not too much of the smoke or the beechwood but also a good amount of that imperial stout aroma of some roasted malt in there in amongst a big heavy bouquet on the nose of fruit stone fruit let's dive in cheers and i'll say it again may the fourth be with you <laughs> whoa 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 took a big mouthful of forgetting a second about the 12 percent but yeah, there's a big, quite gloopy mouthfeel from the off. Slightly oily. But it's smooth. Not really stone fruit bitterness, but there is definitely... There's definitely a peachiness. I'm getting, I think I'm getting a little bit of pineapple as well, oddly, off the back end there. Uh, in and amongst the kind of Roasted malt, proper, slightly chocolatey, 
It is like a tropical chocolate cake almost. There's 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 so many flavors bouncing around there. Mm. Big big alcohol hit on the back end. Once all the smoothness is slidden down and taken all the flavors. Oh, that's really nice. That is really good. A bit more chocolate coming through, a little bit of biscuit there as well. It's one of them I'm just going to keep going back to because that is really, really nice. Still plenty of carbonation there. Though the head has dissipated. Let's get it back. It is one to sip and savour for the evening. I say this is the perfect evening for it. Probably shouldn't have left it so long, but oh, I mean, it would, it would last. It's a big heavy hitter on it, so it will last uh, quite some time. But yeah, now is a good night to do it, I think. Uh, and that is lovely, really thick and luscious, got lovely chocolatey flavours, but fruitiness going on as well. I can't necessarily pick out all the individual fruits. It's just that kind of slightly plummy, slightly peachy. I think peach predominates, like I say, a lot of other, not heavy on a tropical fruit, but you just, you just know it's there. There's a fruitiness. I personally can't pick out the individual fruits, except the fact I'm, I'm looking for them. I know they're there. Don't get too much on the smoke. It's more about like the roastiness of the malts, kind of. It's not a chocolate roast, uh, not a coffee roastiness. There's more of a like dark bit of chocolate going on. Also, big treacly kind of sweetness as well. Um, I like it. It's very much my kind of thing. I'm going to sit and spend the rest of the night trying not to drink it too quickly, just enjoy that big stout flavor with yeah there's a little bit smooth there's a little bit of roughness around the edges on the like the kind of kind of biscuity notes and the bitterness but it's not it's not a heavy bit of uh bit of roast chocolate kind of bitterness or oh, and every now and again the fruit just pops up like oh, i'm still getting pineapple cubes a little bit um yeah there's loads of good fruits in there and they all sort of sort of pop up in and amongst all the chocolate, the slight bourbon biscuit note I always get. Mm. I could sit there and come back and do a top to bottom taste test and come back a little bit later with it, but you get the idea. You probably knew what it was going to be like anyway. It's it's a big, delightful but eminently drinkable imperial stout with lots of flavour. Lots of smoothness. It's just a really lovely drop. It's the sort of thing that if it was 6% or 9% or something, I mean, if it was, that wouldn't quite be the same beer. But if it was, it would be nudging on the beer of the year nomination if I had more of it. It's one of those that's small batch, so you don't get a lot of it. So you're only going to get the one can. But I'm glad I did. It is very, very nice. Mm. Absolutely the beer I'm looking for. Keep it short. That's all we need, really. I've been Disco of Rasco and Disco Beer with you. Let me know if you picked this one up and what you thought of it. Let me know if it's still out there and you can still find it. Um... Let me know your thoughts if you wouldn't mind hitting like and subscribe and all that jazz and leave some comments down below. Oh, it's just nice. It is nice, nice, nice. And still, the aroma helps as well. Absolutely fabulous. So, yeah, cheers and enjoy the biz. Mm -hmm.